find myself here at the intramural fields in my best sporting gear, where I will be learning a crash course in women's lacrosse. Tell me along my journey, I recruited current team member Bonnie MP. Bonnie took me through the game of lacrosse. It's just an offensive defensive game similar to soccer, the rules are similar to basketball, the lines are similar, the goal is just to get the ball in the goal if you're offense and for defense the goal is to keep the ball out of the goal. It compares to basketball and soccer mostly, the running game is similar to soccer um, as far as transitions up and down the field. The lines and markings on the field are similar to basketball, so we have arcs and the half, half center field line. Um, it's a lot like field hockey, but played in the air instead of on the ground. It's pretty unique as far as rules go, because um, we can't, girls can't have body on body contact, we can't have stick on body contact, we're not allowed to hit another player. So we kind of have to use our stick and their stick, and our body movement to keep them in check or to move the other player where we want them. I asked Bonnie what lacrosse brought to the table. Intensity. It's a great way to get your frustrations out in a healthy way. Um, I don't necessarily have to hit another player, but just being on the field, having the ball, shooting on goal, it's a great way to take out aggression <laughs> without actually physically harming someone. The time had come to find my weapon of mass destruction and learn the ways of a lacrosse player. When you're catching it, catch it like an egg, so you're going to want to give a little bit. Yeah. When you catch it, if you scoop it up like that, this is called cradling, and that's how we keep the ball in the stick. If the ball is on the ground, it's called a ground ball, super clever. And the easiest way to pick it up is to step into it. So put your foot near the ball and put, this is called the butt of your stick. So you're gonna want the butt of your stick down as well as your butt. So scoop it this way. <laughs> yes. Did you see how your stick kind of stuck into the ground a little bit? Put the butt of your stick lower to the ground. Parallel to the ground, there you go. Yep. So if you're on offense, you'll usually be standing like this, and that's where we cradle by our head. Put this arm a little bit down further, like this. There you go. And so you'll be cradling, and to get it from your stick, I have to hit your stick to get it out. And it bounces out, and then now I can scoop it up, or one of my players or your players can scoop it up. After experiencing what I could only describe as a lack of talent, head coach Michelle Mitchell shared some extra tips to improve my skills. It's called wall ball. If you just have a stick in your hand and the ball, you find a wall, find a building, and you just pass and catch, pass and catch. And you're getting comfortable with the stick. You want to cradle, you want to switch hands, you're moving. You just want to be one with the stick, and that's one of the most important things. Just After being shown the ropes, a career as a professional is certainly out the window. I think it's best to stick with tennis. If you would like to learn more, visit laxteams.net slash UNLVWLAX. Rams on three, one, two, three! Rams! For Studio G, I'm Alex Bull.